Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna do a video on piston protrusion and valve recession on a Cummins. Checking for your, which head gasket you need to use and <clears throat> adjusting for a bigger camshaft if you don't have clearance. Um, I'll uh, link the video for checking piston to valve clearance in, uh, at the end of the video. Um, I've already done a video on that one, but I uh, just thought I'd show, I've seen lots of guys asking questions about it and they're kind of getting all kinds of different answers. So I thought better, it's just easier for me to do a video than answer a bunch of times, I guess. So anyways, so this is just uh, a 12 valve that I got in the shop that I'm putting together. <clears throat> um, this is actually one I'm going to put be putting together to sell. But anyways, um, so what you need to do, if you want to check piston protrusion, and there is a couple different ways you can do this. Um, if you have a precision ground um, piece of material, it's nice. You can use that with feeler gauges if you want. Um, what I use is, I got a couple different things, but this is a, a pro form setup. And they're relatively cheap. So if you guys are doing this, you know, trying to, you know, doing it yourself, or if you've done, you're going to, you know, going to do it more than once maybe. I would definitely, um, you know, if you're playing with engines, you should have one of these. So what you need to do, so, oops. Drop my barm tool. But anyways, so this, now what you wanna do, obviously engine's assembled, it's gonna be assembled um, if you're just doing a head gasket. Should be doing this on a fresh engine, especially if the block has been surfaced, this block has been surfaced, so it needs to be checked. Um, so you know what head gasket you need to use. So you can see here I've written on the block, um, Just that's just so I can do it in the video. I already know what the spec is off the top of my head. I personally don't like them over about 25 myself. I would, because sometimes you'll get them lower, depending on the manufacturer of pistons, and there's a hundred different things. But anyways, <clears throat> um, for using a stock gasket. So personally, you can run up to 28. The issue that you have, let me put you guys on the stand here. So the issue that you might, that you're gonna have is you need to account for the piston will rock back and forth in the bore a little bit. So you need to, you need to measure both sides. So let's say here and here, because the piston's gonna rock this way. Now you take your gauge and like I said, you can do this a bunch of different ways. But like I said, if you guys are doing, gonna plan on ever doing this, um, you know, I think that that tool is like 35 or 40 dollars for a cheap one and then i'll when i do the recession on the head i'll actually i'll show you a different tool that we actually made up you literally can make one um you know out of a piece of plate as long as it's got some sort of a, a flat edge on the bottom of it um you know it, you can use it for that but so you're going to want to measure it here and here now you zero your your gauge off and the only thing I don't like about this thing is that you have to be careful you don't touch the piston with it. So right now, so you're gonna measure, like I said, pretty close to that mark there. And we're like 26 right there. Now that's 26 thou. And then measure on this side. Same, just make sure you don't get it on top of the piston. And this side's like 25 pretty much on the nose. So. And you also want to check, now if this is a fresh block, you want to do the exact same thing to the back. Um, and then you obviously want to make sure, I know that this one. Yeah, 20, yeah, 26. That's something you want to make sure is that you do have it on top dead. And all you do is just rock it back and forth and you can see, you know, for the instance of what we're doing here, just make sure that you get it in the right spot and you can see, yeah, see the lot, oh, it's 27. So you're 26 and 27. Um, personally, what I do, what lots of guys do is they take the two, they divide them, and then they take the average between the two because when the piston's going up and down, it's going to be straight. I personally take the high number. So... According to this one, you are under that 28 spec at 27. You can see we've actually checked it already because it's at 27 on there. 
Now, that being said, that means that technically you could run this with a standard gasket. Now, if you were going to use this engine for a 160 horse application in a piece of equipment or even a truck, I guess that for that matter, a completely stock truck, you could get away with running it at 27. Personally, I would not. I would put at least a 10 overhead gasket or I would surface the pistons. For this one, I just run a 10 overhead gasket. Now, so, and that's, and like I said, that's personally where I, I do the cutoff at 25 thou myself. Um, and then you know that you're not going to have an issue. Now, so we got that all done. I'm going to take you guys over to the cylinder head and we're going to check the valve recession on the cylinder head. So here we are at the cylinder head. My beloved bench corner. So this cylinder head is a um, new casting. Um, that I've brought in, that I bring in. Um, we go through, well, you have, well, I guess you don't have to, but um, this, these castings, this is kind of has nothing to do with um, the, our, our, what we're doing here, but uh, these new castings, I always, we bring them in, we size guides because they're usually too tight. If they're too big, we put guides in them, cut valves um, sometimes, sometimes replace valves because they're the wrong valve. But anyways, another, another video. So on your valve recession, um, and that's the core, the the distance from the top of your cylinder of your your cylinder head to the top of the valve intake and exhaust. So intake exhaust. What you want on these factory now this is factory stuff is between thirty nine and sixty. So these ones, this one is exhaust is forty five and. The intake is 39. So this is that other tool that I was talking about. So literally a steel block hole drilled in it and a gauge. And it works awesome. This is actually one of the guys that works for me's um, block. But I am going to actually build one myself because I actually, I steal it from them all the time. So anyways, so you, that's how you measure it. So you want to measure, um, if you've had the head surfaced, um, like when we surface them, I always check to make sure the recession is good. Um, and I would imagine m most engine machine shops are going to do the same thing. I would imagine all engine machine shops are going to do the same thing because I don't want to see you have a problem. Um, so that being said, if you are at now, like I said, these are stock stock recessions. So if you want if, let's say you have um, 25 thou protrusion on your block and so you can use a stock head gasket and you have your valve recession at 39 let's say 40 for an easy easy number you with a stock camshaft with a stock camshaft at 4000 rpm even with a set of 60 pound valve springs those valves are really close to hitting piston if the piston's not helping it come up so I personally, if you if you're close to the the the, the recession on this, um, like on the small on the the short side, I guess you would say, and not the de deep side, I would be putting a ten over head gasket in it anyway. And then same with on the other on the other side of the coin, if your your piston protrusion is on the high side, I'd be using at least a ten, and you can get ten and twenty. Now, if you are having the cylinder head rebuilt. And you want to run, let's say, a pretty good size, an aggressive camshaft, whether it be like a, a stage three, stage four, stage five. When you get into a stage five, you're talking, you know, you're building basically like a race engine. But for stage four, or stage three, stage four um, in a Colt um, or a Hamilton, like uh, 188, 220, which technically is a drop in cam, um, or any of the big guys, I personally would want your valve recessions in the 60 range if not even maybe a little lower um, because the lift on the camshaft the rpm you want to spin so if you want to spin 5000 rpm and you have a big camshaft it's a reason for the big camshaft um, and then the valve springs you want to keep those valves away from the pistons so this is a standard spec for running a stock engine at stock horsepower level at stock rpm I, I, you know, yeah, sometimes have to have conversations with people about it. 
So I figured I'd do a video. Um, this, you know, if the recession is lower than this, as long as it's relatively close across the board, let's say within five thou um, of each other, there that's not a big deal. As long as you have the valve spring is shimmed or as long as the install height is proper, then it doesn't really matter. Or if you have a bigger spring, you don't need that big a spring. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So like I said, if, you, if you're, you're pulling the head off and you need to do it, you need to check valve recession and piston protrusion. My, I think anyways, um, because sometimes your piston protrusion will be low, but the head has been surfaced and it's below this 39 thou, and they've put a 10 over head gasket in it for that, um, then you can compensate it that way. I personally don't like compensating it that way, but you can do it that way. Um, and it works just fine. So I just wanted to um, do that video up quick for you guys. Um, so please, if you're doing a head gasket on your truck, check your piston protrusion, check your valve recession. If you have any questions, this is the exact same for a common rail or any of the 24 valves. The specs are different, um, but you know, if you need specs, hit me up on Instagram or on my Facebook page, and I'll be glad to give you the specs um, as long as I have the specs that you need. Um, with all the common stuff, I have all the specs. But so anyways, um, we're gonna cut this video off there. Please like, subscribe, um, hit me up in the comments and uh, have a good one guys.